One mistake everyone is making with Microsoft Teams. That is what this video is about. But first, my name is Paul Keizers. I'm a Microsoft MVP. Uh, I have my own company, KB Works. If you want to work with me, uh, you can contact me via KB Works. Let's get back to the video. Um, one mistake everybody makes uh, with uh, Microsoft, using Microsoft Teams. Of course, it depends. But uh, one thing I see a lot is that uh, people, they are starting uh, to collaborate and they use a chat or a group chat. I even seen companies using group chat as their main thing. I would never recommend to use group chats for uh, projects because what happens is all your documents that you share during your group chat are stored in the OneDrive of another person, which means if he leaves the company, your documents would be gone. So that's why one of the reasons I would suggest to use channels and teams instead of it. So you directly have full control. Uh, people can start a new conversation. It's threaded, it's way better. But of course, I'm not the only one. Uh, so uh, I also asked Copilot to help me with this. And he comes back with this uh, text. The number one uh, mistake that end users often make with Microsoft Teams is not fully leveraging the integration capil capabilities of the platform. Teams is designed to be a central hub for collaboration, integration with various Microsoft and third-party applications. However, users frequently underutilize these integrations, leading to fragmented workflows and reduced productivity. It's crucial for users to explore and utilize these integrations to streamline their process enhance collaboration within teams so that's quite a long text and i must say i agree on this one uh, because uh, actually this covers it all um, but if you ask me like one thing then i would say the group chats another thing that is interesting is that a lot of people are not aware of using the status so they are red, green, uh, orange, and they just forget um, what this means. So make agreements on the status. So here we have the status available, which means I'm always available. Uh, you can just uh, send me a message and I will react directly. Busy, uh, I'm busy, so it can, if it can wait, you always need to ask the question, uh, do you have time now or should I uh, come back to you later with this chat? Do not disturb. It says uh, enough so you uh, your message will not be uh, uh, read or people will react. And be right back uh, or appear away uh, is also clear. If you like this video so far, don't forget to subscribe and like my channel and share it with everyone but make agreements on this within your organization. Um, another one was, uh, which I heard is that people, uh, how they share their documents. So you can share your documents uh, via the OneDrive, but you can also share your documents within the SharePoint. So be aware of this. Uh, I'm really curious what is, in your opinion, the biggest mistake people make with Microsoft Teams. If you like this video, then this video may be interesting to you as well. So I would watch it. Uh, see you next time.